ridiculous Paula White was giving a prayer like a bunch of thousands of angels and people speaking in tongues interceding on Trump's behalf where he would win the election. And then you saw Sid Roth and a lot of these nut jobs, uh, Gio Colanti and all those people, saying that Trump is going to win the election and etc. But then obviously Trump lost uh, the election because we know that the ones who are in charge is not fair play. We don't truly live in a democracy. We live under the devil's regime. And the devil has his people right. playing behind the scenes. Right. Now you notice that there are a lot of these so-called Christian pastors who are of wrong doctrine, who gave false prophecy that Trump would be reelected. But then you got a lot of these Christian fools believing and subscribing and watching these people. Why? Because they're against the current evil government system. Mm -hmm. So the devil sees that. Do you think the Antichrist is going to play a part? Well, look at this. Let's look at Mark 13. What is the devil's job? All right. Let's look at Mark 13. People don't read their Bibles. And this Amen. is what the Antichrist's job is. His job is to make a strong deception that makes it look so Christian, right, right. so Christ-like, that if it were possible, it could even deceive the elect. Right, that's right. And a lot of these churches and Christians believe in these signs and wonders and this miracle stuff. And then that's what the charismatic churches, Pentecostal churches are promoting. And the devil, the Antichrist people, is going to use that to deceive the people. Let's look at Mark chapter 13. And this is very dangerous. This is what, it's talking about the tribulation, what the Antichrist will do. So Christians are to be wary. The Bible says in verse 22... For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders oh. seduce, to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Isn't that dangerous? Oh. Yes. That's why, verse 23, But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus says, I forewarned you, but today's churches, they've been blinded. They have not listened. They have not read their Bibles. They spent more time on digging up conspiracies yeah. or for pastor hero figures who are attacking the government system or the latest research that can be anti-vaccine or anti-mask and etc. rather than looking at the Bible. Right. They're looking at the elections, uh, they're looking at so-called prophecies and visions of how God is going to rescue America and how the churches are going to take a stand. They're looking too much at those things rather than the Word of God. You know, the devil can play both sides of politics. One party doesn't matter to him. Some people don't realize that. Right. Now, doctrine is very important. That's the thing. If you're going to be safe, for some people who are wondering, then how do I be safe? It's simple. You just go by the Word of God. You have to go by doctrine. So what does the Bible say? If you go by what the Bible says rather than what the online world says or your favorite pastor hero figure says, and a lot of Calvinist and charismatic pastors are becoming those heroes that the devil is using yeah. because they teach false doctrine. You have to look at the Bible, look at the doctrine, and see, see what it says. Now, we have plenty of videos that uh, debunk Calvinism, debunk charismatic false doctrines, so I'm not going to do it in this video. But what I'm going to point out is what Satan can use such doctrines for to bring his Antichrist agenda. So it is important that we go by right doctrine. We have to go by what the Bible says. That is extremely important. If you're going to find out what the Bible says, then you won't fall into his agenda, his system. Now, one of the big things that we promote is uh, dispensationalism. Amen. And it is important, you can look at our channel, and we have a playlist called Dispensationalism, and we encourage the people to look at that playlist. They'll debunk all the false doctrines out there. And then if you're a dispensationalist, you're not going to fall into heresy right here. So it's important not to fall into wrong doctrine and heresy. So dispensationalism is a very important doctrine that will help rescue you from a lot of false teachings out there. 
Now, one of the things that the devil uses that a lot of people don't know about when they're joining the wave of the anti-vaccines and the anti-masks is that they're all trying to uh, focus on ignoring right doctrines, okay? They're trying to ignore right doctrines and say, we're all on the same team together. The enemy is our current government system. But you know, that's what the elites and the globalist agenda is that they don't realize. Their agenda and goal is to wipe out the current government system. And the only way you can do that, think about how uh, the communists, Stalin and Hitler and all these people, how did these big time dictators become popular, Castro and etc. They've been received by the people right. because they've been duped and tricked uh -huh. by these That's satanic good, right? dictators uh -huh. that, hey, I'm on your side yeah. against the current government system. You deserve to be treated equally, right? We need a communist government system that can make sure everyone has an equal share and these elites and these aristocrats are the enemies. Hey, isn't that how the communist system took over in uh, Russia, the Soviet Union, and then Cuba, and then uh, Hitler was able to promote his Nazi right, regime, right. etc.? Mmm. Yeah. China too. Mmm, China too. Huh. How about that? How about that? That's all the devil has to do. All he has to do is play to what pleases the people yes. in their frustration against the current government system. And then by appealing to that, he can set up his new government system. And what men learn from history is that men never learn from history. If you study history, that's how famous dictators or evil rulers were able to win the hearts of the people through those methods. Now, that's the job of the globalist elite agenda. It's nothing new to them. It's been something that's been done for thousands of years, and all they have to do is imitate it. Now, this is uh, from the work of Alice Bailey. She's the founder of the word New Age. So a lot of people who are very wary of the New Age system that is currently embedded within the globalist agenda and the elitist agenda, the New Age, this is what Alice Bailey said. She's also a Theosophist Luciferian member. Now, this is what she said. Mysteries will be restored to out-expression through the medium of the church and Masonic fraternity. Now, did you hear that? The elites, what they want to use is the current church system and Masonic fraternities, obviously. Wow. So the globalists, they're looking at the church. Now the church is getting more and more frustrated. No wonder it's easy for Trump, for example, to win the heart of the churches, right? That's where he gets a lot of the votes, for example. Why? Because uh, you just have to direct your attention to what frustrates the church, and you join their frustration and act like you're on their side and you support and help them. Now look, I'm not against Donald Trump and he's done a lot of good, but what I'm trying to point out is this, is that if such a thing happened through Trump, where he's able to easily win the hearts of millions in churches, then wouldn't the Antichrist do a much better yes, job than yeah. Donald Trump? Especially if he's a great conniving deceiver yes. and pretends to be Christ-like, right. a Christian. Didn't we read that in Mark 13? Yeah. So then they're going to use the church. In what way? In other words, out of chaos, they will be able to bring in the new world order. Isn't that interesting? So out of this chaos that people are frustrated with, obviously, the current world system, being frustrated with the current government... We need chaos in this current government, right? That's why we go through the pandemic situation, right. the riots and everything. Right. And then once we get the current, and then the, econo the economy's collapsing, everybody's migrating to Texas. Why? Because everybody hates California. Especially yours <laughs> truly. I don't know why I'm stuck here. But, but the current government system, it's when the church or the Masonic fraternities or the evil elitists uh, there's chaos here. This is all tackled. And they're the ones that emerge victorious. 
and then they're able to bring in a new world system. Isn't that what the churches are fighting for? Uh, make America Great Again is one example. See that? Everybody wants uh, the prosperity of America again, and etc. The prosperity of our government, our new government, new world again. See, the devil, all he has to do is just simply join that stuff. Yeah. So then just wreck the current government system and produce a new one. Keep reading here. They will manipulate specific situations in a way that will utterly destroy the old world order. I'm frustrated with our liberal, Democrat, and Biden regime, and etc. See, you just wreck this one. Right. And then you can produce this guy right here later on. Let's keep reading. And bring in chaos as the essential element of attack within all world governments. That's why we're going through the current uh, chaos and disruptions in our world today, right? Economic, health-wise financial, etc. Through treason, seizure, terrorism, wars, and finally World War III, they will have a new world order. Isn't that what uh, the people tried, you know? Let's, uh, you know, I'm frustrated with the BLM riot, so let's have our own riot on Capitol Hill. It's about time we have a revolution. Rush Limbaugh mentioned about that one. Let's have a revolution again and etc. Isn't that something that appeals to mainstream churches and Christianity now? Mm. Oh. See, well, let's knock over the old world system, bring a new, new one. Manly P. Hall, he's a high-ranking Mason. You know what he, what he wrote in his book, Secret Destiny of America? He mentioned this, that America was to be the home of an attempt to bring in a global democratic commonwealth out of the United Nations. The new order will rise out of the ashes of the old governments. See that? That's why we're going through the current chaotic uh, mess that we're going through. Why? The current old government systems, we're knocking them down. That's why the health and then the health wreck system and then the economic collapse, all this is necessary why they're producing a new one. I mean, we hear that uh, even, it, and you know, I'm knocking over the conservative mainstream Christian side, Come on, where the devil can obviously cover the left-wing liberal side too. Isn't yeah. that what Biden said? Build back better? We won't be able to return to the old ways, so we have to produce something right. new. Right. Isn't that what the uh, current Jesuit general mentioned, that we'll never be able to return to our old world, our old yeah. ways? We're bringing in the new, uh, new regime. Isn't that what the world is promoting? Isn't that what uh, the Great Reset is also about? That we're supposed to bring in a new one? We can't go back to the old ways anymore? Let me read it again. The new order will rise out of the ashes of the old governments. This is why you will find another symbol within masonry known as a phoenix bird. For it is this mystical bird that bursts into flames and is burned up and then rises out of its own consumed ashes. America has been long established as the new Atlantis and the new government headquarters. When the Great One, Antichrist obviously, when the Great One comes with his disciples and initiates, we will have the restoration of the mysteries. Wow. See, they're waiting for this guy to come because they're wrecking the current old world system. Now, do you see this serpent right Even here? So. This serpent is taking people from the church, Christians, and deceiving them that this is the current evil government system. The vaccine is the mark of the beast right now. The mask is the mark right now. The current government system is the Antichrist. We're enduring through the tribulation together. Mm. We're fighting and beating the Antichrist together. Why? Because we're waiting till the end of the tribulation when Jesus Christ right here will finally come down and conquer all of his enemies right here that we're fighting against. So. And then we'll be able to worship him as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Wow. Amen. That's the current government, that's the Antichrist. That's the Antichrist yeah. agenda right here. See, see, that's a false Jesus Christ. Right. Yes. That is not the true Jesus Christ. That's why, um, why do we believe in a pre-tribulation rapture? Because we know the current government's messed up. It's all in the prince of the power of the air. 
and then God's going to rapture us, and after we rapture, the Antichrist is going to take over the current devil's government system. That's right. The Bible says in Revelation 6, he's conquering and to conquer. Yep. See, he has to fight against the current right. government system. Right. At Revelation chapter 6. So that's why uh, we're waiting for a pre-tribulation rapture. Yes, you have to believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. People who deny that doctrine are of an antichrist belief. A one world religion belief. You might say, really? Yeah, you know what a uh, majority of world religions believe in? They do, uh, especially those of false Christian cults. Uh, Catholicism is one example. Yeah. Uh, another example is uh, Seventh-day Adventism, Jehovah Witnesses, etc. You know what these uh, religions believe in? They believe the church has to go through the tribulation. The church has to go through the tribulation fighting the current demonic world of the Antichrist and then waiting for their Jesus Christ to yeah. come down and set things up. To you. People who deny a pre-tribulation rapture are of that one world religion who believes in that. For some people who don't know that. You don't believe me? Here's the Jehovah Witnesses. This is uh, They sound like a typical onliner that you see today that's upset with the current government system who deny a pre-tribulation rapture. No. Jehovah Witnesses, quote, Are we living in the last days? Yes! World conditions as well as Bible chronology indicate that the last days began. At that time, God's kingdom began ruling in heaven, and one of its first actions was to expel Satan the devil and the demons from heaven and restrict their activity to the earth. Satan's influence on mankind can be seen in many of the bad attitudes and actions that make the last days critical times hard to deal with. That's fine. That's found at the JW.org website. And the title of their article is What is the Sign of the Last Days or End Times? See, they believe that the Christian church is currently going through the tribulation and that they're fighting against the devil's world. Here's Catholic Catechism 675. All right? This is what they say. Before Christ's second coming... They're waiting for this false Christ. Yeah. The church must pass through a final trial. Yeah. That's his deception. We're going through the tribulation right now. That will shake the faith of many believers. Wow. The persecution that accompanies her pilgrimage on earth will unveil the mystery of iniquity. That's the Antichrist. Or people think this is the Antichrist right now will unveil the mystery of iniquity. Isn't that the, the persecution that accompanies her will unveil the mystery of iniquity? See, that's what people are saying right now. We're undergoing persecution right now. The restrictions, the lockdowns, the, the mandates, and the vac forced vaccinations, and etc., etc. See that? It's unveiling, revealing who the Antichrist is, and we're fighting against it. Buddy, you don't know what persecution mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. This right. is kid stuff. This that's is right. only the beginning of the worst. That's right. Will unveil the mystery of iniquity in the form of a religious deception, offering men an apparent solution to their problems at the price of apostasy from the truth. The supreme religious deception is that of the Antichrist, a pseudo messianism by which man glorifies himself in the place of God and of his Messiah come in the flesh. The church will enter the glory of the kingdom only through this final Passover when she will follow, follow her Lord in the death and resurrection. The kingdom then, that we're all fighting for, to build up a kingdom, right? We hate this current government kingdom, so we got to build up a kingdom ourselves. So we got to fight the government. The kingdom will be fulfilled then, not by a historic triumph of the church through a progressive ascendancy, but only by God's victory over the final unleashing of evil, which will cause his bride to come down from heaven. So look at that there. So they believed that the church must go through this tribulation, and then they will get their rescue from this Jesus Christ. They're waiting for this Jesus Christ. 
All he has to do, as you've heard in Dr. Upman Fadlet commentaries that you thought, is wait for this big flying saucer landing on uh, St. Peter's Cathedral or the Vatican, and then come out and say, Peace be unto yeah. you. I have come back to be your rescue, your savior. Wow. And then all the world will go wonder after the beast. That's right. And right. realize that, hey, this is Jesus Christ. He conquered the current evil government system. No, that's the globalists laughing behind this. That's scene. right. Mm -hmm. And they've used scapegoats. I mean, these are scapegoats. These are small fries. Yeah. Fauci, Gates, yeah. Epstein, oh, oh. and then Biden's such a puppet, you know, they, they just laugh about using him. And then all these other people, uh, Redfield and etc. I mean, they just uh, have their men set up to play the, to set up the pieces and discard them and have other pieces right, set up. Right, it's simple, right. all right. You're you're looking at the wrong enemy. That's right. You know what the pre-tribulation rapture is about? Hey, man, that's your problem. Your problem is is that the problem with the people who fight against the government system is that they're looking for the antichrist. They're not looking at Jesus Christ. Right. Look at the book of Titus. 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 A pre-tribulation rapture demands to look at Jesus Christ, not the Antichrist. Right. Now, there are post-tribulation people, or people who don't believe the church will go through a tribulation. They insist that people who believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, they will be deceived by the Antichrist. Why? Because they insist that because we keep looking for Jesus Christ, that when Jesus Christ comes to rapture us, then the, then we pre-tribulation Christians are going to go, oh, this is Jesus. Uh, we knew this is it. We hit the rapture, and they'll be deceived by this antichrist. Right. Well, that's uh, that false teaching uh, from people who criticize pre-tribulation rapture is faulty on several things. Yeah, come on. One, if we see our Jesus Christ and He comes to rapture us. We know that's a false Christ if we don't go up. Yeah. yeah if he on. says, okay, I'm going to set up a kingdom right now here on the earth, then I'm going to freak out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we know we have to go up first. Right, Amen. Right. Amen. But you people who deny a pre-tribulation pre rapture, you believe in a Christ that has to come down yeah. and stay with you. Yeah. Now, I think I'd be scared to deny a pre-tribulation rapture if I were you. If you deny a pre-tribulation rapture, you're waiting for a Christ that's supposed to come down after the current Antichrist government system, and he's going to stay with you and give you the victory. The church believes, no, the world falls into apostasy. Right. It's not going to take some victory from some Jesus Christ who comes down on the earth. We believe it's so apostate that we need to get raptured up to heaven. We need to get out of here. And then let the devil reign on the earth. And then Jesus is going to clean house after the devil later. Right. And he has to take the church up first. Uh, so that's a problem number one. Problem number two is this. Problem number two is that uh, people know about the rapture agenda where the devil could use the rapture to say, uh, talk about aliens coming down, people missing because of the aliens, and then the Antichrist can set the world in order after thousands of missing people, right, which are right. saved Christians who are raptured before the tribulation, and then the Antichrist can bring peace on the earth. Now, there are people who deny a pre-tribulation rapture, but they believe the devil can use this uh, rapture agenda to deceive the world. Now this is a problem. The problem is this. The problem is that if you deny a pre-tribulation rapture, what if, if you go to Matthew, this is what people teach. I don't know if you knew this. Go to Matthew. Go to the book of Matthew. You know what people teach? We're going to look at the book of Matthew. And then we're going to look at chapter 13. Chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 30. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 30. People who deny a pre-tribulation pre rapture, uh, there's a good number that teach Matthew 13 that the lost people first has to be taken out of the way. And once they're taken out of the way, then the Lord can take care of His saved people. But pre-tribulation rapture people claim, no, the saved people have to get raptured first, right. 
And then the Lord's going to deal with the lost people on the earth. Now look at Matthew chapter 13. Look at verse 30. Let both grow together until the harvest, which is, and in the time of harvest, which is the end times, right? Right. I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the who? Tares, the lost people, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. So the, the, the wheat is the same people. So people who are wrong doctrine, they teach that, no, we deny a rapture. Why? Because lost people are taken care of first, and then the saved people afterward. Now we teach, no, saved people get raptured first, and the lost people, the Lord sets them for hellfire later on. That's what we teach. So then how do we explain Matthew 13, 30? It's pretty simple. He says that uh, when he gathered together the tares first, he didn't burn them yet. He binds them in bundles to burn them. In other words, he's getting them in place. Right. He's binding them together, getting ready to burn them. They weren't burned now at that moment. God was gathering them ready to get them to burn. But then notice, once he binds them to get ready to burn them, what does he do? But gather the wheat into my barn. Notice the same people get raptured. Why? Because we believe the Lord is setting up everything wicked right now in our current government system to bind them together and say which are the ones deserving of damnation. And I'm getting ready to settle them. But then afterwards, he gets them to the same people to get raptured. And then once they're raptured, then the Lord knows and gets ready. Okay, so now these are the people that I'm going to get, set them to burn later on. Yeah. Now, uh, what's the dangerous teaching? I'm not going to go uh, exhaustive interpretation on this, okay? I'm just going to explain what the devil can use. What the devil can use is this, for some people who don't know. If people claim that, well, lost people have to be uh, taken away, gotten rid of by the Lord first, and then the Lord's going to come down and set up His kingdom with the saved people. That's dangerous because the Antichrist, once the rapture happens and the saved believers get caught off, all the Antichrist has to do is, see, I got rid of those people. Yeah. Yeah. I got rid of those people who are rebel rousers. Who yeah. were dispensationalist King James only. And uh, said so there was a pre-tribulation rapture. You come saw on, what I did with them. I judged them. With my heavenly beings right there. No, those are the aliens. Those are the devils out there. And I'm now Jesus Christ setting up the peace on earth. How about that? Is that something that's scary and terrifying? That's what the devil can use. So, uh, why are you... Uh, and here's another thing that I want to close with. When we look at Titus, alright? So your hand is on Titus, right? So sorry about that. Look at the book of Titus. Look at chapter 2, verse 13. Chapter 2, verse 13. You know what Satan wants you to do? He wants the Christian church, look at me. That's look right. at me. I am so important. Look at me. You might say, no. Yeah. You want proof, onliners? Why is most of my views have to be Satan, not Jesus? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, King Adam. That'll preach, oh. brother. That's good. Why does most of my views have to be about Antichrist, not Jesus? That's right. Yeah. Shame. Why, why, why are you so infatuated into that? You know why you dig into conspiracies and stuff like that? You're so infatuated with studying evil, having doctorate degrees, online doctorate degrees on evil, but you don't even know the nine fruits of the Spirit. Shame. You probably can't quote me five soul winning verses. You don't know two eternal security verses. And let alone, I wonder when's the la uh, if you've been reading your Bible and praying and having a close walk with Jesus Christ and you've been attending a Bible believing church. Ooh. Or have you been all day thinking about the devil? The devil. The, get the devil. Evil in our government. Yeah. Evil, evil, devils, devils, antichrist, antichrist. Look who you're infatuated with. That, then the devil accomplished his goal. That's good. What are you looking at? We're not looking at the antichrist. We could care less if the Kushner is the one, or if uh, Obama is the one, or the Pope. We could care less, all right? Macron, etc. We're not infatuated with the Antichrist. We could care less. 
Because we're more focused on Jesus Christ Amen. and our walk with Him and how we should live for Him. Yeah. We're waiting for that blessed hope where He raptures us up to heaven. Even so. Look at Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. Looking for that what? Blessed, blessed hope. hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God and our yeah. Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 your eyes yeah. on the rapture, but the devil sure wants you to divert your attention away from the rapture. Mm -hmm. Look at 2 Timothy 4. You know what's going to be sad? You know what the easiest crown to win in heaven is? The easiest oh, yeah. crown to win oh, in heaven? Wow, yeah. That's good, brother. The Come easiest on. crown to win in heaven is to look forward and anticipate that Jesus comes down here on earth, raptures us to heaven. That's Amen. the easiest way to get your crown. Isn't that easy? How many of you want to get out of this stinking God for yeah. 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 Amen. We want to get out of here. All right. Yeah. 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 But see, you know, it's so amazing how the devil blinded these people into denying a rapture or a pre-tribulation rapture and, and, and saying, no, 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 we want to put that away. We want to keep our eyes on attacking the government system prepping up and I'm going to store up my food, my guns, and etc. And then uh, you're not uh, and you're not looking forward to Jesus Christ rapturing you before the tribulation or you don't want to believe in that doctrine? You don't want to believe in a doctrine that Jesus is going to rapture you up to heaven. Now that's scary. Then you're going to miss your easiest reward. 2 Timothy chapter 4. The Bible says in verse 8, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. How do you get the crown of righteousness? Mm -hmm. Which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that what? The Lord is appearing. That's, the easiest, that's the easiest way to get your crown. Now, uh, if you hate the rapture doctrine after this video, I pity you. You're going to miss your easiest reward. And be infatuated with this guy if you want. All right? And how many people need to see be infatuated with this. Be infatuated with this all you want. I know where my attention's at. Amen, brother. All right.